Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Codium video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add an icon to your C Sharp de uh, desktop application. Um, this is actually kind of like a hard thing to find online sometimes. So this is going to be real simple. Um, if you notice right now, if we click start, uh, obviously there's just a default icon up here and a default icon at the desktop down here. Um, and that's boring. And once we build the project and actually install it and everything, um, it'll still have a default icon of some sort. And we don't want that. We want to have a custom icon so our, you know, our app looks cool. So let's go ahead and exit out here and get into it. So to begin, let's go ahead and go over to where our program is listed and right click on it. And then scroll down to properties. So this is going to open up the properties for your program. And it has a bunch of basic stuff like the name of it and the, which framework it uses and stuff. But what we're worried about is resources right here. So we have our icon and manifest. And don't really to worry too much about manifest right now. You can add a custom one. But for this, for the sake of this tutorial, we're only going to worry about the icon. So if you found this on your own time and you went ahead and clicked browse, you might notice that you don't really have any uh, ICO files on your computer. You can't just upload a PNG or a JPEG straight up to here and expect it to work. And that was something that many of us found out the hard way. But in order to deal with this, there's plenty of online resources and tools that can help you out. And one of these resources that I found was uh, icoconvert.com. So at first you're like, oh, this is an older website. It could be sketch, but I reviewed it. I'm not saying that it's perfect, but I've tested it myself and it does seem to work um, like you'd expect it to. So to convert any image like a PNG or a JPEG to the .ico file type, so go ahead and choose a file to upload. And then once your file explorer is open, go ahead and navigate to the file that you would like to upload. I've already created a um, icon ahead of time, so go ahead and make sure that's done. Click upload. And this will upload it to the, uh, the website. Then it will bring it up here. And you can go ahead and include what you like from the actual icon. So let's just include this. And then you can apply some frames and stuff. But we don't really care about that. Um, we do want an ICO. And even though we're on Windows 10, this still applies. Um, and then you can go ahead and click Convert ICO. And then in my case, it's a PNG. So go ahead and click PNG to ICO. And it'll actually bring you to a different website, which I, I guess uh, they must use a different process for PNGs. But you can do, go ahead and do the same process here. So go ahead and upload your file. Click Convert Now. And then go ahead and click Download. So this will let you download your image and is the .ico file. So then we can go back to Visual Studio. Go ahead and click Browse and navigate to the file that you need. And here's the one that we just downloaded. Go ahead and add that, and you are good to go. So once you actually deploy your project, this will be the default app icon and the shortcut and everything. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up or comment down below any thoughts or suggestions for the next video. Please subscribe to my channel if you like content and want more content like this. And with that said, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.